I'm pretty sure Clara's gonna be in my quads too because she is a good girl. And I love her two pieces. Yes, I love you, Clara. You're always smiling for the camera, Mama. And that's your child, Annabelle, who really wants to be a mama's girl right now. Look at so we're her just belly. a few days away from uh, the first due date. So I'm going to do selenium, trim hooves, and I'm going to do uh, vitamin E. I'm just going to add one of those to um, the selenium. Uh, that was something that was recommended to me some time ago. And here are my old pregnant mama. You're not due for a while. You are due soon, so you have to come in. But we'll see. I'm going to try to get to everyone. Look at Bria. She looks like a tank. What's wrong with you, Bria? How many children do you have in that belly? She always looks like she's going to have a million. Look at Clara. She always has four. Well, before, that's all. She's been kidding in her farm. You're so cute. Yes, ma'am. You're the cutest little girl. But uh, Briere gave us, as a fruit freshener, she gave us two last year. So, I don't know. This one. <laughs> Look, she still hasn't grown another teeth. Let me see. Show us your, your missing teeth. She's like, no. Ma'am, you don't do that to me. And so, let's see how many we can get done today. At least I want to do mocha. Annabelle, Clara, Briere, and Gaia over there. Those are the ones that are due in the next couple of weeks. Not you. Come on, Clara. Come on, Clara. Or somebody that is due soon. Come on, I usually start with whatever they hate the most. So I'm gonna start with hooves. So she's entertained eating her grain. By the way, I'm feeding them grain right now. And I'm doing this right now because I was told it's better to start feeding them grain six weeks before their due date. But I haven't been doing that. Not because I don't want to feed them grain, because to be honest with, with you, I've seen a lot of farms that feed um, their does grain the last six weeks. And what happens is then those babies are ginormous. And that's not what I want for my girls. They are wide enough that they can easily pass those babies in previous years so I really don't want to push my luck be feeding a lot of grain and then have to deal with a lot of um, you know big babies and another thing too is they don't need it in my experience they don't need it what you'll be what you have to be really careful with is with their having some alfalfa that is more important than anything because they need that calcium. Okay. Give me this one. Clara it gets heavy for how she is, like her body condition typically is. But when she's pregnant, she gets really heavy and uh, it's really uncomfortable for her to have to balance herself while I try to do this. So this is not something you should be doing. Now I'm gonna clean up a little bit of her udder um, just so we can look at it better. I can keep an eye on it. And um, it's just gonna be easier to clean up this whole area if I shave it a little bit. It's not gonna be perfect, Clara. She's looking at me with one eye like, what are you saying? Uh, yeah, I'm not talking to you right now, but I wanna show you and Clara is doing the 21st. So she still has some time to grow some hair, I don't care. I just wanna make sure that it's kind of clean and I can keep an eye on it. 
I feel like Clara was so hard to take this time. Uh, she actually, I mean, not that she wasn't coming into heat or anything, but if you remember that video, I had to expose her. Now, I don't quite remember exactly, but I think it took three times for her to get pregnant. And no, she didn't have any deficiencies or anything like that. She just um, was coming back into heat. She was short cycling, which is normal for her goats. I still had her uh, blood drawn and we did a couple of testings just to make sure that she was okay. You know, I don't want to breed her if there's some kind of deficiency that she's fighting. Um, so I did that and everything was fine. It was just that she was short cycling every time. So I have so many due dates for Clara, but... I, uh, I know which one was the last one, so that's why I'm thinking her due date is February 21st. And it's silly, I mean, you should keep good records of all your does and everything, and I do have them. But when you have so many does that are going in heat at the same time, like the same week, they would all be in heat. Like, they, they are a week apart, because I had to wait for some of them, because I don't have the room to uh, for all of them to kid at the same time like I did that last year and I almost drove myself crazy so yeah it's it's um so the, it took a lot of planning that's what I'm trying to say it took a lot of planning a lot of trying and uh, in the end honestly I want to be checking ligaments and I will be checking udders and all that stuff because I don't want to miss it, especially with Claire. I don't I really don't want to miss her her kids being born. Now, is there a chance that I will? Yeah, she could be pretty sneaky about it and have the babies in the middle of the night, which it's you know it could happen, and I'm sure she can do it. But I just do want to. I just want to make sure that you know I try to be there. Um, especially if she has four kids, uh, I like to be a little bit of assistance for her, uh, bottle feed a couple of kids if I need to, uh, through the night, at least that first night, so it's, um, it's something that I really want to do, so I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on her, just to make sure that all my dates are right. Now, ignore the puppy in the background, but that's as much as I'm going to go. A little bit around it, just to clean her better with some more coconut oil after she kids. And her udder, just to make sure that their teats are exposed for those babies to nurse. And, yeah, a little bit. I cut a little bit of the belly because she had a really long hair here. So, I think she's good to go. Let's do some selenium. Just finish that. You weren't eating. Okay, stop. I know you don't like this. Okay. Okay, Clara, you're going to make me fall. Head first. There you go. See, you like it. Why are you being so difficult today? You were so good with all the shaming. I know you hate that. I'm glad you're a good mama and a good girl. Let's do some vitamin E, okay? I'm just getting a capsule, made a hole, and giving her. brush you okay because I know you like it I know it relaxes you and you're pregnant so I get it you need some pampering before those babies get here huh yes ma'am we all need pampering before having kids good girl We 
made a mess, girlfriend. Come on. Where are you going? Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. I know you're heavy. Not you. Mocha. Or Zaya. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Go. Briere. Mocha. The drama. I'm gonna let her in for a little bit while I clean up all the shavings from Clara. I know. She acts like she doesn't want to be milk or her utter touch, but she squats um, enough that she'll leave real room to milk her. It just takes her a little bit to get used to milking. Um, I didn't milk her for a while because she had kids on her. But I took her a good week and she was good. I know. My bad. Sorry. Okay. Let's do Briere's butter. And let's take a peek. Last year, Briere's butter. She surprised me with the amount of milk she was giving me and she also surprised me I know Briere, it's okay and she also surprised me with how soft her udder is uh, Mocha's udder is not soft and Briere's dad I don't own um, I think yeah he did improve some things on Briere and Gaia both, but I I like one of his sons better, better, and one of his sons is Rocky. So even though I can't breed her to her half brother, no. I can still breed her to Dom, who, by the way, this year he's gonna show me with Evie what others he will be throwing or likely throwing. So I don't know if you can see but she has quite a big udder. This she'll be a second freshener this year. So you saw Clara's udder. But I mean I feel like Briere's udder looks like well like great. The only thing I noticed that her teeth, I think it's because of the medial ligament, you can barely see them from the back because they kind of point towards the front, which is not bad, but it's not ideal. It needs a little bit more definition here and that way it helps move the teeth a little bit more towards the back. It's not bad, but her udder is so, so soft. And it's so easy to milk. Like, I want to milk her right now. It's the best, best texture. Uh, out of Mocha's girl, she's the one with the best texture. Now, this year, I bred Mocha to Rocky, who they're, they're not related. And I'm going to see how their kids look. But I have to say, texture, Briere for the win. It's, she still has time to kind of work on this medial, even though it's better if they start with that a strong ligament from the get-go, but I've seen it happen. Annabelle had really horrible kind of pointing to the front. It was kind of hard to see from the back teeth. And uh, as she's freshening, I think this will be her fourth freshening, it started to pull a little bit more back, so. Yep. <clears throat> Okay, there's a baby right here and he's stretching his legs like right here I can feel it, whether that's a leg or it might be the nose <laughs> oh my gosh Briere you have a cute well I think it's just the skin she has very that's why her udder is so soft she has very dairy oh my like I can touch her udder and uh, I can touch her uh, right side and feel babies. That's how. Cr oh my gosh, it's right here. Let's see if we can, if it moves. 
Hi, baby. <laughs> it moved. Can't feel him there anymore. Are you gonna give me a girl briere this year? All girl? Briere? There, there you go. And Briere is due on the 21st, just like Clara. I think last year was the same. I think they had the same due date or they were a day, day apart. It's almost like their cycles are always the same day. And same thing with Mocha and Annabelle. Uh, their cycles are always the same day. So you'll see their due dates are always super, super close, if not the same day. Actually, if you remember last year, they both went into labor the same day, Mar March 8th, and they both, yeah, had their babies. Annabelle had triplets, and Mocha had Watts, two girls, two boys. But look at this. Look at Briere. She is a wide, wide load, and you still have two more weeks. So. There we go. This is my least favorite part, like all this shaving. Right now it's just the udder. Look at how much hair. When I shave them completely, or I don't know, clip them, how they say it? Is that how you say it? But when I, I say shave, because they are down to nothing, because we do have a lot of lice problem with our straw. And if you shave them, the sun will not only kill, no, the sun will help with lice, to keep them lice free. Hi, Briere. You did a great job. I am proud of you. Thank you for being a good child. Mocha, come on. Or Gaia, whoever. Now this is Gaia, she's due on Valentine's Day, just like her mom. Like I said, my girls, they all like to go into heat the same week, the same day. And so I tried to breed them at different times, but again, for whatever reason, they were short cycling. I think the one that didn't sure cycle at all this time was Annabelle. And I never had, you know, this many girls sure cycling the same year. So it was kind of weird to see it all happen. Uh, it happens with Clara, like last year, same thing, but um, not the many times that she did this year. Last year, I think the year before she short cycled once and so I was like I don't know about this kid you know she was having like very big kids and then little ones and I was like oh my gosh I don't know I don't know I don't know you know some things are not possible I guess but you never know with Clara so ah, she wants more grain she wants to be my herd queen and right at this point is still Annabelle. Um, Clara could be if she wanted, but she's too lazy to want it. She doesn't, she just wants to be left alone and, you know, eating hay and living her best life. So, but Gaia wants to be my girl, you know, she wants to be my queen. Okay, let's do this first. Uh, she's really close to her due date, which would be next. Wednesday. Unfortunately, that Wednesday, I work all day. Um, I may ask somebody to cover me. She goes into labor. Last year, her due date was March 1st, and she delivered on March 1st. Like, even, I thought, you know, she has a lot of time. I had a doctor's appointment that it was very far away from where we were. It was snowing, if you remember. Then um, 
you probably know how stressed I was to leave her. Um, but I left her in a kidding pen by herself and then I asked my kids to help once she started pushing and uh, they did great. But I'm afraid that she's going to want to have her babies on Valentine's Day and I'm not going to be home all day. Or I won't be home until night time. So I hope that she doesn't decide to have her babies on Valentine's Day. That's all I'm going to say. Well, if you if you stop doing that, I wouldn't get your udder, but you're just being a pain in the neck. She has a very sweet, uh, very soft udder, not as soft as her sister's, but her medial ligament is better. Right now, it's, she's not filled in. It's a little better. It still could be. A lot better but she's a really great producer and this is her second freshening so it can only get better from here this is Gaia come on Gaia come on let's go come on Mocha are you Mocha? No This one is my easily spooked girl. Come on. You want some honey? Some honey? Come on. No, you have to get up. You can't come around it. Come on, right here. I know you're so fat. You can't even jump on the stand. This is Mocha. She is Gaia's mom, and she is due on February 14th, so we still have to do Annabelle. She's due on the 13th. I don't know why she's staying away from the door, which is never a good thing, but uh, I think she's fine. She's with... Oh, now she came to the door. Never mind. Now, uh, shaving just like this could be a little traumatizing for the goats the first time. Like, they don't understand what that noise is and, you know, what you're doing there. And it's mostly the noise that scares them. But, um, once you do it in one year, they get you. They get used to it. At least my girls, they all did. But Gaia, Gaia likes to be like a royal pain in the neck. If you remember, I had that video last year before she had her kids. Like I had to physically drag her because she wouldn't get up on the stand. Like she knew the food was there. She's just very, very stubborn. Um. Unlike her mom, Mocha, this girl, she's just spooked. She's always scared of everything. She's very sweet. She wants love. She's the first one to get pets and everything. She just gets easily spooked. Okay, girl. I think you're good. Let's trim those hooves. This is Mocha's udder. <laughs> She's very, very deep and very, very pregnant, aren't you, Mocha? She's really not liking me right now. She doesn't like when I give her the little vitamin E liquid from the gel. 
she doesn't like when I give her the vitamin E or the selenium. This brushing seems to relax them. If you look at their faces, Let's see if I can show you her face. Okay, that's normal. This is when I start to brush. It's like they're in a trance. So I try to brush them before they go so they're not as traumatized <laughs> because they're divas. There you really are. But at least now you're ready for babies, Annabelle. aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Mama, let's go get your sister. Annie, come on. You. You know who you are. Come on. Mwoka. Girlfriend. Come here, Annie. Come here. Okay, move, girl. Annie, right here. Are you Annie? No. You are a fiend, and you, Annabelle, I didn't bring you here to torture you for no reason. Come on. Come on. Get up. No. No. Come here. You know the drill. You're old enough. Come on. No. Up. No, no, no. Up here. Come on. Go oh, up. I'll help you. I'll help you, Belly. You have to help me. Girl. You do know what you have to do. Annabelle. She can be stubborn, but she's the first one to, so she's the one that needs this the most. Come here, Annabelle. Come here. Here. Okay. Eat some. Okay. Come on. There you go. Yeah. Cut your head. So now we're going to have to jump. Gosh, why are you being so stubborn? Okay, so this is Annabelle. Oh. She, out of everyone, after this many years, she is the best mom to grow kids healthy. She's a good mom that she teaches them where to eat, what to eat. She will feed them, you know, give them milk. And she's the one that I was telling you that the first year First and second freshening years, she had the worst medial ligament to the point that her teeth were like almost pointing to both sides instead of how they're pointing down now. Are they perfect? No, but they got so much better. And I remember asking uh, Dom's breeder, Dom Marbach, I was asking her, you know, is this something that they can improve? She's like, yeah, definitely she can improve. She can produce more because she always had a single when, when she was the first freshener. And sometimes when they just have one, their udder takes um, some time to develop. And oh my gosh, yes it did. She's a great producer. You know, lots of milk. She's good to be milked. As you can see, she's kind of weird today with the stand, uh, but it's because she's pregnant. When she's pregnant, I don't know, she's afraid of everything, and anyway, but she's the best mom. I will never, and again, this could change this year, but in the years that I've had Annabelle, she, I never had to deal with one of her kids with coccidiosis or any kind of illness. She just feeds them, she's on top of them. Um, Sometimes she's just mean to them, which I know, honey. But if you put your legs like that, girlfriend, I cannot see your udder. But now you can see her udder. Is it perfect? No. But look at the length of the teats. If you compare it, it's more than, it's two and a half fingers and a half big fingers. 
Um, her udder is very, very soft. I'd say maybe a little bit less softer than Briere's, but it's it's buttery soft. I don't know if it is that she's a good mom because she never had quads. And I don't think she's going to start this year. It probably skipped her. <laughs> I, I know that Clara, you know, she has four and then um, Mocha had four and Mocha is a full sister of Annabelle. So, you know, you think that maybe Annabelle will start eventually with four. Uh, no, she, the most that she had was last year. She had triplets. The year before she had triplets too. Then she had the single that very first year. So yeah, it could be that she's a great mom because she doesn't have four kids on, on her all the time. And Mocha and Clara does. Well, they do always have four on them. So this year I'm only going to leave two with Mocha and Clara. And I'm going to bottle feed the other babies that they have so that way they can concentrate on just two of them and not have to focus on the four because then they start picking their favorite and that's when the ones that were the ones that are not picked as favorite get sick because they don't get as much food because they don't like them and it's not because they're bad moms and it's not because they don't produce a lot of milk it's just that some babies are smaller and it's very demanding to stop every five seconds to feed a different kid. You know, if you have two kids, then yeah, you stop, you do whatever they need and then you move on and then for a while they're not gonna want to nurse. But when they have four, they have always somebody trying to run Annabelle. the other girls in. Uh, I'm gonna give a quick shave to her just to keep an eye on it. I'm not gonna do anything too much because I'm pretty sure she's due... I want to say April, maybe at the end of March. So she shouldn't have a lot of, if any, other development. But I always like like to look at her udder because it's pretty. That's all. So I'm not gonna <laughs> shave her too much because we're not gonna be able to see that much. But can you see how perfect her udder is? And again, perfect in my herd. So, look at her little udder. Look how long the teats are. She will be a second freshener. Her teats could be a little bit more in, but it's this is not filled in. This is just, can you see that it's not, it's not an udder, it's right against her. Um, but look at this cute little, and she has the longest teats, the softest udder, and this is all thanks to Rocky, because this is not Clara's udder at all. Yeah, uh, Clara's udder is good, but Athene's udder is better. I am so proud of her. The only thing I could say about her udder is that for having two boys, I didn't think it was that big, but some lines are slower to mature and she is from one of those lines because she is very petite, like short, I should say. She's also small, but she is very, very short. And it's because mom and dad, Rocky, they're both really short. Um, is she too short to milk? No. You can see, I mean, I, I have, a, let's see if I can, I have plenty of room to put a bucket and milk her. And she's pretty good for, uh, for milking. So just, it takes her a good week to go back into the rhythm of things. Uh, but oh, it's such a pleasure. 
honestly, last year I was using the milking machine, and every time I was gonna milk her, I was like, no, let's let me hand milk her, because she is so easy to milk that I feel like, you know, she was the last one to kid, so she was the one to be in milk uh, that I left on milk for longer. The other ones could have, but I didn't want them to. But Athene, I can be here in like three minutes, be done, and get quite a bit of milk. So I am just so, 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 so happy with her. And she's good, like I said. Look, I'm touching her udder. She's acting a little, a little, a little fool right now. This no. is Aria. Let me see. My camera's dying. So I'm gonna try to do a quick clip. She's not due until March. So I'm not gonna do too, too much. But I do wanna see how her udder is developing for research purposes, you <laughs> know? Just for research purposes. I may have to clean up around her. She was never clipped and she's doing great. She's very spooked like her auntie Mocha. Like she'll be very, very scared of anything really. But can you see how cute little otter is developing? Oh, maybe you can see it better there. This is Arya's otter. You can see her teeth are pointing down. They are not perfectly centered, but this ligament hasn't really stretched. And um, so we, we won't know right this second. But look at the cute little otter. And it's not that little for being a month and a couple weeks away. Like six weeks, maybe? I'll put the date that she's due on the screen right now. But look at that. And look at her belly. Maybe if I show you from the top. She has a very, very soft belly. I'm going to try to feel for children. But in a minute. I'm going to let her eat first. We'll do some half trimming. Which she absolutely hates. And if she has marble eyes, that's what it's called, that means she has the blue eye gene, which means that if the monkey, the buck that I brought her to, <laughs> the only thing he can pass, the only thing he can pass is the blue eye gene because he's blue eyed. And Aria has brown eyes, but if she has marble eyes, she doesn't carry the brown eye gene. Now, I was told that, I, I thought maybe I saw wrong or whatever, but no, uh, my vet made me look around her eyes and she did have a rim of brown when she was born, which was very interesting. I thought maybe it's just a different kind of blue, but then they turned all brown. So. Technically, her babies, she's had tricolor, chamosay, because she does have the black belly and the black legs. And uh, she should have all babies blue eyes if she had marble eyes and I wasn't mistaken back then. So, we'll see. If those babies have all blue eyes, then that means you're beautiful. Just kidding, you're beautiful anyways. Oi! Girlfriend, so I'm gonna brush you right now, so maybe you'll hate me a little bit less. Oh, I know. Okay, let's feel for babies. I know. We should feel for babies. She's losing a lot of hair. I don't know if they think that spring's coming since we've had really nice warm days. Hi, babies. Well, here's one. Under here, I can feel it. Hi, babies. You wanna say hi to me? I can feel one down here. 
she does have a lot of room it could be because she still has six weeks to go and they grow the most in the last six week oh here give me one right here at the bottom it kind of in the middle of her oh is that is that a leg it's moving i'm barely pushing or making putting any pressure and i can feel uh, she looks very fat to me she still has six weeks to go she's very petite because she's a rocky daughter and you know th that line is kind of slow to mature so <laughs> Ha-ba-ba. Okay, we're gonna go. We let little sissy in that right now, okay? Okay, Arya. Come on, let's go. This way, this way, Ma. This way. Ava. She is a sweet girl, but sometimes she's very stubborn. See if I can have her come here. Come on, Ava. Come on, Ava. Come on. Oh, I go on. Okay, it's okay. I'll grab you. Because you're you're kind of little, but otherwise. I may not be able to show you everything, but I'm gonna try to show you her udder. Again, she's not due until March, so what you're gonna see is the beginning of that developing udder, but it's not gonna be as big as the other girls. And I'm gonna shave her more than her sister, because I really want to compare their udders Growing up, Aria, oh wow, oh that's nice, Let's see if I can show you that, she's a rocky daughter, she's Aria, full sister, and I kept her both, kept them both, to compare, and then decide which one I'm going to keep. Now, since she was a little girl, I always liked her adder, or her teeth and whatever, it's not really an adder, but I like whatever I could see better than her sisters. Uh, I don't know why, but her teeth were always longer. They, in my opinion, they're very well positioned, like they're kind of, I don't know if you can see right there, but can you see how they're not at the very tip of the udder? Like, it's not right here on the side. It's kind of, they're both, both a little bit more inward. I don't know if you can see it right there, but can you see? She still has a good six weeks to go. Again, I'm gonna put her due date on the screen right now, or I'll do a little voiceover, but look how perfect. Look how perfect her is. Like, can you see this one? This one has a little bit of long hair. But can you see that fold over there? Look at this little wrinkles. Her, her udder is so, so soft. Look at the length. For a first freshener, look at this. I've never seen this long of teats in my entire herd. She's very similar to Athene. They share the same dad. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited for her udder. I mean, again. Now, this is Evie. She's due in May. But I'm going to try to see how, you know, you can kind of see her teats over there. But I'm going to try to clean it up. Now, udder development doesn't happen until the, until the last six weeks and we're nowhere near her due date so all we will be able to see is her teeth length and kind of positioning 
maybe a little bit of, you can see it right there. She has the cute little outer, her teeth still look super tiny because of course, but they are long for not having an udder. Can you see? There's no udder here. And it feels super, super soft. So that's a good thing. I'm gonna do the same thing for her. Maybe you can see it right there. Can you see how many wrinkles this girl has? Look at that. She is March, April, May. She's three months away from kidding. And now you can see, look at that. Look how it folds. Look at that. Look at those attachments. Look at the skin. <gasps> I'm gonna kick myself in the butt for not breeding um, Clara to Dom. Look at that. She has no udder and look at the skin and look at this attachments oh my gosh she's scared she's not cold she's just scared the attachments she has this little can you see how it folds over her teeth oh this might be this might be my number one girl